My book brings to you the voices of the slaves caught in the fashion industry, and I hope this series of videos will help you to understand some of the issues that people face. What is modern slavery? Although it is illegal, there are more people trapped in slavery today than ever before. Millions of vulnerable men and women and children are enslaved through human trafficking and forced labour. There are many reasons why millions are trapped in modern slavery, from political decisions and population growth to a lack of choice and opportunity for the poor, from the exploitation and theft of their natural environment on which they depended for their livelihoods. Where laws exist to protect against slavery, these are not implemented and corruption may run in the police force and the government itself. Slavery exists in an enormous, thriving black economy and we consumers have never before enjoyed such economic benefit from the slave trade as we do today. Criminal gangs line their pockets with the profits from human trafficking and consumers get cheaper clothes, cheaper foods and cheaper electronics. Thanks to a dysfunctional capitalist system, global corporations, shareholders, banks, investors and financial institutions are making handsome profits and huge dividends off the backs of slaves. Modern slavery is an umbrella term used to describe its various forms, including child labour, Children are trapped as slaves in domestic work and often working for our supply chains, whether that be in garment making factories or in fisheries or in agricultural production. Human trafficking is a huge issue and really involves vulnerable uh, men, women and children who find themselves um, caught by often a local gang um, that will use very deceptive recruitment techniques uh, to push them into conditions that are slavery. Sadly, what I found as I was researching Slave to Fashion is often the victims' families have been tricked and find it very, very difficult to then go to the police because they feel complicit about the disappearance of their child or their brother or their wife. Forced bonded excessive labour is when people are forced, often in, in their work through threats and intimidation. We find that bonded labour is often used where people are, are brought from a different area under a contract. Bonded labourers were often unable to, to pay off their loans and their debts, so they were effectively in servitude to that boss for the rest of their lives, sometimes even passing down that debt to the next generation. Often the bosses of these bonded and forced labourers are very abusive and very violent towards them and the workers are inevitably unable to protect themselves or defend their rights. The game changer came as the UK Modern Slavery Act uh, this was the Ethical Trade Initiative which had been set up more than a decade ago by fair trade organisations and progressive companies and trade unions. Uh, and what they did that was incredibly exciting was to push that transparency in supply chains fell under the Modern Slavery Act, which means that today any company with a global turnover of £36 million or more are required to publish a modern slavery and human trafficking report so that both consumers and interested NGOs and trade unions can have access to understanding what companies are doing to eradicate slavery from their supply chains. This also builds real meaning into the UN guiding principles of business and human rights. Today the Sustainable Development Goals incorporate all of the labour rights, welfare, education and environmental sustainability. As I was researching Slave to Fashion, what became really, really clear is that apart from transparency, which is absolutely vital to understanding what's happening in supply chains, that three fundamental things have to change. Uh, those are that a living wage absolutely has to be paid. It's no good to pretend to educate workers on how to manage their money when you're paying them uh, at poverty wages. The second is freedom of association. 
Right now, there is no system because of the lack of trade union strength. How can we possibly capture the violations on the factory floor with no representation of the workforce? The third is sexual harassment and the intimidation of women. Fear silences women in every workplace I visited. And their male bosses exploit their position and sometimes use male power to force and pressurise women. Women, even if they work as hard as men, are never paid the same as men. I hope you'll enjoy this series of videos and want to share them with your friends. Do read Slave to Fashion, published by New Internationalist, and join us on social media, on Instagram and Twitter. But please, be part of the change.